So today we are doing something really different. I haven't even done this uh, type of challenge on my channel yet, but we're at Daiso in Chino Hills and we found this little dope little like fishing section over here. They have all kinds of crazy stuff. They have like, like these little jig heads right here, which probably aren't the best, but we're gonna see what they do for trout fishing. I'm pretty sure we can get something on this. Um, what else? Oh, I was checking these out right here. They look funny, but uh, these are for mackerel and rockfish. But I think we could get some trout on this. So probably pair this up together. Little split shots if we needed them. We got this line right here too. Uh, it looks like it might be maybe one pound if my um, Chinese uh, uh, reading is correct. I don't know if that's Chinese, I think it's Chinese. But anyways, um, yeah, this looks like it's like a one pound liter or something like. I'm gonna take that. I don't know what this would cost me, but should we even go as far as taking the rod from here? Not the greatest, it's a telescopic rod, but it looks pretty cheap, but I mean, as far as for video challenge wise, I think we should just go ahead and take everything from here. We got line, jig heads, jigs, and a fishing rod and reel. Like, I don't know. They even have a fish grip here. <laughs> like, I never use that, but they do have it here. What is this? Portable fishing bucket with a rope and handle. So you can throw your fish in there, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, they have a lot of pretty cool stuff. Um, everything else here doesn't look like I'll be able to make it any use of it. So um, we're going to go ahead and take this. I don't even know what it's going to cost me. I'm going to say, let's say like, hopefully this isn't any more than $20, maybe $10 and a couple bucks here hopefully our budget stays under thirty dollars but we'll go to the checkout right now and see what it comes out to all right guys so um you know i kept looking around and i found some more stuff i'm gonna end up taking um we're gonna take this right here so you can put this on the hooks i won't get your hooks uh caught in the interior of your car things like that i'm also gonna take some different colors of these they have like a, almost like a clearish uh, purple one and a green in there so we're gonna add that to these colors that we picked out it says earlier. right there that one's glow in the dark too oh glow in the right dark right there look it says right there that's what that says yeah i couldn't <laughs> read it <laughs> we're gonna take this little this little chair it's gonna be my fishing chair so i can take a break i can uh, go ahead and sit down right here so now i can i can fish <laughs> gonna do that better than bass pro shops in here um, we got prices are probably better too yeah let's see i don't even know what these prices are i think we're gonna go ahead and take a guess and then see what happens we added a little bit more than we had earlier so i think i was guessing around 30 dollars i'm gonna say about 36 dollars now really yeah. what about you what do you think i'd say like 22 22 Daiso has really good prices. Yeah, we'll find out what, what we're getting into. Well, that should be like $100. I know, right? Babe, is it Daiso or Daiso? I actually, I don't know. What do you, is it? <laughs> I don't know. And I said Chinese earlier, but it says Japan. Yeah, so Japanese. Not the traditional gear that I would normally fish, but you know, sometimes you just gotta have some fun. So I found just little storage, like a storage container for my workstation upstairs. And, um, this uh, tripod for my phone so when I'm by myself if I need to position my phone to get a picture then I'm gonna go ahead and set it up right there Let's see what we uh, totally get I think I'm over here it's gonna be less than I thought okay I'm <laughs> sure it's only two bucks
think I'm going to be successful? Yes, of course. You got this. I You're going to catch I a think, monster. I think we're going to catch a big fish on this. Honestly, Hopefully I don't break off. It is a nice, beautiful, quiet day around the lake today, at least in the parking lot. Um, but it looks like it's nice and calm, not a lot of wind, which is um, kind of rare for this place. This place can get really windy, so we should probably be hitting the trail before it does, because it could just get windy out of nowhere over here. For today's video, we are going to do a little fishing challenge. We picked up this uh, $12 telescopic rod. Um, it looks super cheap but we're gonna see what we can do with that. Picked up these little baits. I think this is gonna be the ticket today. Little jig heads. What else do we got here? We have some, it looks like maybe one pound test line, I'm guessing. Chair fits in the backpack. Small, maybe a five foot telescopic rod so we're gonna break this down put it into the backpack dude I keep on doing this I keep leaving my um, GoPro chest mount strap I'm gonna check in my car again but I think we left it behind so I did manage to forget my uh, chest mount strap so the video is gonna be a little different today I'm gonna do similar to what I did at Lake Kuyamaka I'll be setting the camera on the floor not a big deal we'll get a video done we'll get some good content but um oh man it is really nice to just be out here good weather today it's about i believe 75 degrees look at these colors these colors are blooming right now it is the time of the season, so looks like it's going to be real nice in the back where we're headed to, and um, hopefully the fishing is going to be good too. The telescopic rod seeing uh, it's not ideal for throwing small mini jigs but we're gonna see what it can do for us it's pretty heavy a lot heavier than oh shoot freaking while the reel already fell apart so let's see it's ready to go this line is um, looking a little bit thick here. So I did bring out this thinner line that they had over there also. And I'll just be tying the rest of what's on here to this. Hopefully gives us a little bit of casting advantage. Drag is tight. We're gonna loose, whoa, let's see. Loosen this up. Super loose. All right, so first look at this. Um, reading the back, it does say nylon line leader number one. We're gonna go ahead and tie this up. This other one is looking like about maybe six pound test line, maybe four. I think it's about six. Cinch it up together. So uh, we're gonna cut those tag ends. got all the line on there 
So now we're going to take one of these jig heads. This is like perfect size too. I'm actually really surprised they have this at Deso. This is the jig head right here. Jig head is tied up. We got two colors to choose from right here. We have pink and we have like a white pearl looking color. So I think we're gonna go with the white. This is what the baits are looking like. I'm gonna take this one here. We might even cut it down a little bit. So this is what we got rigged up right here. Looks perfect to catch some trout. Let's go try it out. The whole setup from Deso. All right, not bad. It actually casted a decent distance out there. So casting was actually not bad. I think the real challenge today is gonna be finding the fish. Try this shady spot right here. first fish on the day so baits this little bass uh, tiny guy all stuck up in the weeds too right on the lip tiny guy wow this is this is what's horrible about that day so line this uh Nasty loop I got right now, so I gotta fix that. Hopefully, get back onto some fishing. But so far, so far only um, one landed, tiny little bass, and then we got I hooked two after that, and um, they were spitting the hook before I got them up. Same size, a little tiny bass. No luck on the trout yet, so it's really a tough challenge so far. Yo, something big just freaking slammed this. Put the camera down, get it in. It's probably a nice bass or I was like giving up on this. I don't know what this is yet, but it's nice. Look at that. Thing is, I can see. Uh, oh my goodness. This drag sucks too, but it's gonna work though. Looks like a, I think it's a striper. He's hooked good though. All kinds of weeds. Oh, 
it's not even that big, but it, it's a nice striper. Pretty good striper, but dude, this thing on this rod. lip deso jig deso rod reel line everything that is so that is so so sick all right you guys we're gonna get this uh jig out of his mouth This is a jig. Gonna clean them up a little bit. We're gonna let them go. Get them back in the water. Nice, fast striper. Totally took me by surprise. I consider the challenge done, um, successful. Probably gonna just spend a little bit more time here, see if anything else happens, and we'll be calling it a day. I'm gonna have to take that setup now to try some trout, see if we can get a trout on the day so setup. Originally, that's what I wanted here, but it just seems like the trout aren't even around today. So, it was good. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys like these challenges and want to see more let me know in the comments down below um, I'm stoked super stoked all right see you guys later